so hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here girl my name is lucy i always say to stay subscribed we have a good time on this channel today's video we're going to talk about green flags in friendship we have kind of started a friendship series on this channel and i am loving it and you guys are loving it too i've been reading a lot of your comments and it just makes me feel good a lot of you can relate people are moving mad out here all that being said i'm going to have all the friendship videos linked below i highly recommend that you watch them it pieces everything together puts the cake the pudding all of it together okay now now, in this world of bad friendships which you and I have experienced there are still good people and trust me when I say there are still good friends out here that's the reason why I'm making this video so you can spot if your friend is good you can appreciate your good friend like I said in my red flags video you can use this to access your friends and also new friends so I highly recommend that you take notes and think about your person you know think about your friends you should also use this green flag to assess yourself when you're assessing your friends and you're thinking about your one two three person please be thinking about yourself so do you do these things to your current friends? Maybe you might be the one getting eliminated. Who knows? Let's get right into the video. <laughs> first green flag on my list is someone that respects your time they don't overstep they respect your boundaries they respect your presence now this is number one on my list because people take a piece nowadays just because you guys are friends because you guys are close you guys are familiar with each other they don't understand that your time is valuable because automatically they're entitled to your time because you guys are friends do you get what i mean you have friends that you take out time dedicate time to accompany them to somewhere do something for them spend time Time with them they don't appreciate it because that's what you're supposed to do as a friend if you have a friend that respects every second that you dedicate to them you spend with them you share with them you experience with them that is a good friend how you know that somebody doesn't respect your time this might be also a red flag you make plans with someone and they show up two hours late without even letting you know they just expect you to understand because you guys are friends that is disrespectful why I say that is so disrespectful is because they can't do that that to a stranger they wouldn't keep a stranger waiting for one hour two hours because they have to leave a good impression they don't know the stranger's reaction but because you guys are friends they can do it to you because they know you over familiarity see finish learn to not allow see finish enter into your friendship i used to be really really guilty of this and it's not because i didn't respect my friend's time it was more so like a personal thing when it comes to getting ready on time being early to anything i'm just a late comer right and even now i'm better but you know a little bit somewhere there i actually always am late right i've worked on myself and i try my best to always show up on time for things you guys know i like to call myself out on these things when i know that this used to be my problem that i had to attack i let you know so you know that you're not alone and you also need to assess yourself like make sure that you're not this person that's actually wasting people's time on the street someone that respects your time is a good friend they don't play about your time they don't play about your business they don't play about how you show up for them when you show up for them and how you show up for them that is a good friend and that's a friend that you have by your side for a long long time these are friends that do not overstep boundaries just because you guys are friends second green flag when somebody is not a yes man that gives me the kind of energy to keep going in that friendship and when i mean when someone is not a yes man have you ever met friends that they don't have opinions they can't share opinions they can't tell you how it is they cannot be straightforward with you they're just always like okay yeah that's fine let's do it they never oppose things and why i'm telling you that it's a green flag if somebody is not a yes man you would definitely self-develop when you're with that friend because they will always tell you how it is truly is like if they're offended they'll tell you they're offended if you did something that they don't like they will tell you oh this is what you did and i don't like it anything that obviously doesn't sit right with them they will tell you so you can improve and grow now there's a thin line between somebody that is always a yes man and always sharing an op opinion and someone who is judgmental i'm not talking about the ones that are judgmental i'm talking about the ones that genuinely tell you how it is the ones that are able to give you their opinion with love and care the ones that talk to you and be like okay this is the situation from my point of view this is where you were wrong this is what you should have done this is how we will fix it i recommend we fix it if you're not okay with it you can tell me we will go back to the drawing board we'll talk about things that's 
orgasm be who you are tell me how it is when you have a friend that is not a yes man you know that lucy will have her opinion you know that if she's not okay with that she will stay so if she's doing it she's definitely okay with it because i know for a fact she doesn't suck up to me that is orgasm you know a friend that you can always go to for the truth and they will not sugarcoat things you have a good friend third one friends that show some form of vulnerability and they're empathetic do you have a friend that you've never seen them at their lowest you have never seen them struggle emotionally or anyhow you've never seen them in a vulnerable state or they've never cried or they've just never shown a little bit of weakness they've never been in a compromising situation first of all that's impossible because every human being we go through things i was about to say shit but honestly we go through shit at this point and if they truly are comfortable with you if you guys are truly friends there's absolutely no way you wouldn't have seen your friend in a state that isn't the most you know smooth or happiest if they don't feel safe around you then they have this tendency of putting up a facade you always see them smiling jumping screaming you never see them when they're actually struggling there are two things either you are not the friend that they go to when they actually need life support when they actually need all this emotional support or you're just not their friend point blank period you're just friends with yourself it's just these two things it could be okay for the first point if i'm being honest because obviously you might not be the friend that they vulnerable to but even with that there's no way that your friend wouldn't be going through something you don't see that even if it's the tiniest thing it's not like deepest thing where you get to appreciate your friend is when you both can laugh together you can cry together you can dance together listen you both have seen yourselves in different forms different states appreciate your friend because that's your g right there do you get what i mean like you guys can sit down at the end of the year and talk about the different phases and different stages that you've been through the entire year if you think about at a friend that you have and you're like oh me and this girl we've been through it she's seen me in this state she didn't judge me i've seen her in this state we're both living lives in different phases and we can actually see the growth we can see the transitions we can see the changes you have a good friend you have a friend that is vulnerable and safe with you they trust you they show emotion they just don't dismiss your emotions they actually feel for you because human beings are weird <laughs> once you have a friend that can support you a friend that knows that you're hurting even when you don't speak that's just the best my friends know something is up with me i'm trying to not dump on them i'm trying to just you know contain the situation but they know and they still show up even when i don't want anybody to show up look better call them right now text them right now start appreciating them because those ones are hard to find people are very dismissive these days when you say you're good they just be like okay yeah she's good fourth green flag friends that communicate this should have been number two because communication we know is like vital to life and relationships if you communicate half or more than half of your problems are most likely going to get solved communication is key for any relationship to work this can easily go hand in hand with a friend that is not a yes man a friend that is a yes man is a people pleasing type of friend by the way somebody who is always vocal not someone that will be mad at you for something and just hold a grudge but not let you know if that makes sense because communication between both of you makes every situation go smoother everything will just be flying boxes will be ticking there's not Nothing you guys cannot fix there is nothing you guys cannot go through there is nothing you guys cannot overcome when you have a friend that is always letting you know look this is your area of fuck up deal with it you said this you did this you did that and I need you to fix it because I love you and I want us to be good and I want us to work and grow together so I will tell you when that work needs to be done and what you need to be doing do you get what I mean so if you have a friend that communicates hold your girl tight or hold your boy tight whatever one that you have as a friend but i hold them tight because they're gems next one friends that are dedicated to your growth oh that just it is orgasmic it is so beautiful to hear so beautiful to think friends that hold your hand through this thing called life this difficult thing difficult process called life friends that want you to grow friends that want you to be better friends that help you to be better oh my lord friends that when they have something when they find something when they start something when they discover something they come to you babe i just found this you should do it i did this it worked for me i want you to do it we can have it together even if it's the tiniest thing like oh my god girl we need to change your wardrobe we need to change your style you need to 
level up here you need to do this we need to get you in the gym i will go with you just to motivate you you're trying to start this business girl how can i come in what can i do to help jesus christ i can go on and on and on you start that business they are the first ones to patronize your business just to motivate you friends that you both can sit down and draft a plan to grow your life to grow your mental to grow your physical friends that you can travel together explore the world together friends that they want to see you do good they are always telling you areas that are not working well their opinion or even if they don't even have the solution they help you look for the solution friends that they want you to level up your mental your thinking they want you to mature they want you to grow friends that you can discuss these things with when you're confused even if both of you are confused together you will figure it out this self-development self-growth growth in general topic with friendship is so big it is so huge because people are demonic bad evil spirit they always want to be in competition with their friends they want to grow but they just want you to be the friend to somebody that has grown somebody that has made it in life for you personally they don't want you to grow look you have a friend that will call you and say girl somebody just gave me tea on this that that, that. let's go and do it and get some money friends that will just be like oh my god you have this wisdom you have this style you have the vim you have the charisma to start a youtube channel to show us your fashion skill sis let's sit down and make you a youtube channel let's get the world to see your amazing style your amazing vision whatever if you have a friend that always wants you to grow always bringing ideas to you always talking to you about growth sending you things that you would watch you would read you would listen to that would change your mindset friends that when you say oh my god i need to go to the gym i need to lose weight or i feel sad about my weight instead of them giving you that talk of like you're good you're fine yes they'll try to boost your confidence tell you how good you are but if you don't feel good they will look for ways that you can feel good if it's to get on a diet if it's to accompany you to the gym if it's to give you recommendations if it's to send you things that would help you actually achieve the body goal that you're looking for they would you can see people that are doing so well but everyone around them miserable and they are okay with it friends that are good friends will never be okay with their friends looking and living miserably if you have a friend that is always trying to level you up always trying to bring you up to speed you know that your friend the one that you think is bugging that's always calling you for one business idea always calling you for one thing or the other that she saw that she's like let's all do it let's go here let's try this let's travel here let's save up money and buy this like, if you have that kind of friend you think they're bugging you sis they love you they love you too much they want to see you excel they want to see you grow they want to see you live your best life you better hold that girl tight they don't have them like that anymore on these streets this point i have spoken about for way too long in this video i think it's probably maybe the longest point i will speak about because if you have a friend that is actually dedicated to your growth you don't know what you have let's move to the next point because i could talk about this for ages next one friends that listen to understand and not listen to respond so when you say someone listens they're not waiting for you to land so that they can respond to you they listen to what you say and when you know a friend that listens to you if it's a situation where it's a conflict it will never repeat itself again if you have a friend that listens to you when it comes to your birthday or like things in your life certain events where they have to gift you they will gift you sensibly and intentionally when you have a friend that listens to you when you're talking about certain things they would understand because they see you from a point of assimilation when they digested you as a person they know you as a person and not any other surface level thing you're putting up for the world to see they understand when you're going through certain phases in your life and you don't need opinions you don't need a response you don't need anyone to chime in you just need someone to listen they'll be there to listen because they know that's what you need at that very time next one low maintenance friends if you have low maintenance friends you don't know what god did for you because nowadays like i said people are entitled people are moving mad people are crazy people are expecting arms legs heads life all of it from their friends people expect the most from human beings that's why there are so many crazy things out there because of expectations that other people have put on people expectations are one way to kill and drown your relationship real fast low maintenance friends 
are friends that you already know that you don't have to call them every single hour of the day you guys check up on each other maybe every day but it doesn't really matter like it's not a criteria in your friendship the fact that you do not talk for two doesn't mean that you guys are no longer friends trust me there are people like that <laughs> believe me the fact that i don't know certain things about your life doesn't mean that they're going to love you less the fact that they're not doing certain things doesn't mean that they are not friends with you anymore because trust me huh, <laughs> when you have friends that are not low maintenance all these things i'm saying to you will begin to make sense because when you don't pick up their call one time you're automatically the devil when you are too busy dealing with your life you don't love them you don't respect them you don't care for them that's their interpretation of you being busy with your life i don't need somebody yapping 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 in my ear i need somebody who can understand that yes we might not be able to speak for a couple days or we might just kind of drift a little bit not because i'm not thinking about you but because life can get overwhelmed but the moment we pick each other back up we catch up on all the things that we've been doing and there is no animosity there is no nagging there is no complaining we pick it back up i tell you what i've been going through for for past days or whatever how long we didn't speak and you tell me the same and everything is good i don't automatically think we're beefing just because we didn't talk if you have a low maintenance friend you don't know what god did for your life i have a low maintenance friend and i can tell you it's the best thing ever you are yourself you are free you don't feel choked you don't feel obligated you don't feel like an extra task or burden is on your neck because you want that person in your life so you know that you have to do certain things even when your neck is on the line on other things in life when your neck is getting stamped on you know that if you don't do this thing that friendship is dead that's fake because life will be life and it will life anyhow it wants to life you need people that can understand this method of life if they don't understand it they don't know how to deal with it you forever be miserable in that friendship next one if you have a friend that dynamics like person personal friendship dynamic mean a lot to them and they try their best to create that life with you so you guys both create something together as friends that is sweet what this means is a friend that is not trying to copy and paste another friend into you or your friendship they're not trying to replicate another friendship that they have or they've had in the past they are following the friendship how you both take it on how you both like to communicate how you both like to do things how you both understand things you guys are creating your own thing together yeah that's a good friend they're not trying to use a different formula that they're used to and they were comfortable with for your friendship they're creating a new formula for this friendship you don't know what god did for you if you have a friend that doesn't understand friendship dynamics that likes to copy and paste they would always have a two-step routine ten step routine ten step whatever to your friendship if you don't do one two three the friendship is dead there will always be conflict because you don't understand that dynamic they're trying to paste onto you and they want you to understand or they think you you should understand because that's the standard way of friendship they're not trying to bug you down for what you did with the other friend and didn't do with them because somebody that doesn't understand friendship dynamic will always speak at you for like certain things you do with other friends they'll be like why are you not doing it with me why didn't you do this with me they don't even know how to do that you know the thing that they're hounding you and judging you for and cutting your neck for they are not good at that it's not their thing but they just want to always be the friend that you would call for everything in their lives even the things that they don't like doing or enjoy doing they take out the experience for you that like doing that thing because they just want to be the only friend that you have next one which is also very important and in line to personal boundaries and all that stuff is someone who knows when to stay and when to leave look i also said this in one of the points like earlier people that respect your time people that understand you as a person listen to you understand body language respect you as a person there are people that are again entitled that they can come into your space and just own it people that can come into your space and just just be like okay i could do whatever i want because you know this is my friend she's not supposed to have a problem with it so if you have a friend that knows okay this is not the time to be around the sea she doesn't want to be around anybody or she knows that okay if i come and visit her she doesn't want me to stay over for instance if she wants me to stay over we'll talk about it i will ask oh my god i'm gonna sleep over or can i sleep over that's a good friend entitled people are a lot on this street they just come to your house with their bag and be like i'm staying for the weekend i love my friends i want them around me but i love my personal space if you have a friend that understands personal boundaries and respects your time your space and all of 
of it yeah um that's a good friend honestly it is hard on the streets to find people that really understand human interaction and life in general so if you have somebody who thinks with their head you are lucky the last one for this video is a friend that is loyal if you have a loyal friend and this loyalty talk bar i think i want to make a whole video about loyalty because there are different versions different variations of loyalty different definitions of loyalty there are so many instances that i've seen floating around the internet that people accuse their friends of not being loyal because of certain things and i get that but i still don't necessarily agree with a lot of them but like i said when a friend is loyal to you and you can definitely tell when a friend is loyal to you and it's not for the petty 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 stuff now there is this particular topic opinion that a lot of people chime in on the internet when it comes up between friends when they fall out she's friends with somebody that i'm not friends with if my friend being friends with somebody that i'm not friends with right it definitely does depend but for the most part yeah i understand why i'm not going to necessarily buy somebody's case for no absolute reason do you get what i mean that's why i keep saying like it depends if this is my very close friend that has an issue with another girl that i'm not close to or i probably even knew through this my close friend why in god's name will i be friends with the girl once you're no longer friends with my friend uh, sis you're dead to me too i'm sorry once you guys are not i don't you what's your name have we met before in that case for sure there are also situations where there are three close friends and let's say two of them have an issue you obviously cannot pick size at that point you just need to find a way to either reconcile them deal with the issue somehow somehow or forget both friendship that's just the truth there is really nothing you can do you can't pick sides picking sides is where it becomes very very weird very very fake very tricky and there are also situations where you became friends with somebody later on after your friend fell out with them like that is just sneak vibes that's giving but loyalty is loyalty a friend that is loyal to you you will know a friend that has your back you will know there are certain things that they will not do for instance if we go out together yeah we're living together we came together we're living together girl code a girl that understands girl code in every situation with men especially because that's where girls tend to misbehave when a man is involved or when men are involved they don't automatically have manners or sense anymore so in those type of situations girl that truly is a girl's girl would understand girl code what to do and at what time to do those things if you get what i mean a girl that is loyal to you there is no question that this girl wouldn't stand by you in any and every situation it's not even a thought in your head when there's no loyalty that's when you see a girl who talks to your ex like their friend's ex that's dirty there are just some dirty things that are just they're nasty they're just dirty that you can't actually imagine or think but actually does happen in real life so if you have a friend that those things are not even a question they are not even in your peripheral when it comes to that you don't you don't think of, it's not anywhere you know that your friend is solid your friend is your friend although people can be disappointing to be honest but let's talk about that okay let's stick to the positive so if you have a friend that you know you can trust in any situation any given situation they will always have your back that's a good friend now that's pretty much everything for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know your thoughts in the comment section below are you a good friend do you have good friends let me know in the comment section below i have my socials linked as well instagram and tiktok i make content on there different separate content from you know what you watch on youtube so i highly recommend that you go and check out those platforms so thank you guys so much for the support the love all that good stuff i appreciate and love you guys so 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 much i will definitely see you in my next one bye those of you that are listening in your car at your job and you at home i don't care where you at turn this up right now because we're about to go in hey